Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about hoshigaki or dried persimmon, fresh allspice berries, and white pomegranates. Hoshigaki is a labor-intensive Japanese tradition, even an art form, some say. And what that is, is a firm haichia. Okay, you take that, tie a string to it, peel it, and hang them from bamboo or you know a stick and keep them kind of separated. After about five to seven days of hanging there, you slowly massage it, hand massage it, every couple days or so and eventually what's going to happen is the fruits will develop a uh, white bloom on the outside of it and the sugars kind of come to the surface and uh, it's a really a time-consuming process it requires a lot of patience but well worth it you're going to be getting uh, flavors of burnt orange complex flavors of like gingerbread and baking spices it really really is delicious what you're looking at um, it works really well with aged cheeses um, fall spices so you know you're going to get like apples pears things like that or really work well with it as as well fresh allspice berries that's here. When they're in their fresh form like that, it's actually a berry from an evergreen shrub. It's also called myrtle pepper, English pepper, Jamaica pepper, new spice. The uh, name actually allspice was coined because it kind of has a combination of flavors from cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, um, even a hint of juniper in it. And when it's in the fresh form like this, it's as sweet as a blueberry. They really are delicious. Um, obvious uh, Pairing goes well with fall flavors as well. You know, you're looking at the winter squashes, pears, things like that. Traditionally used in Caribbean cuisine, essential in jerk seasoning. Um, I even see some mole recipes have it, uh, big in the Middle East, and uh, even a secret ingredient in the Cincinnati style chili for its distinctive aroma and flavor is uh, one of the secrets to that. Also, we'll be talking about pomegranates, white pomegranates, okay, where usually most people are used to the, uh, the cousins, you know, the ruby red cousins is what you see mainly commercially. And pomegranates have been, been grown for over a thousand years. About the size of an apple, most of them are, some even a little bit larger than that. And you're looking at the, uh, the seeds are what's edible there, okay. What we have here is a white variety, which is kind of a unique thing. Okay, and the, like I was talking about, the ruby red ones are going to be a little more tart, a little more acidic. And these, uh, the white variety is actually has that kind of pink, almost uh, translucent pulp to it. Really delicious, a lot sweeter, higher sugar content than the other ones. There's a couple different ways of cleaning pomegranates to get the edible seeds because you see the pulp here is not edible. Some people will, uh, we actually posted a technique from one of the chefs was like, banging them with the back of a spoon and kind of knocking them out like that. One of my favorite ways is actually breaking it over water. Okay, all the beautiful seeds sink to the bottom and the inedible pulp like that is uh, floats to the top. So you can kind of like just go with it, clean it, ready to eat. Thanks for joining and that's what's hot in the cooler this week.